Hey everyone, uh, Glenn Sanford here, and I am just checking uh, to see if we are in fact um, live in Workplace, but uh, I have uh, the pleasure of having with me today, uh, many of you know him as Uncle G, but uh, Grant Cardone, um, and you are hanging out somewhere in North Texas is all I know, And uh, but uh, Grant, um, uh, let me let me know where what what are you up to? What, I I saw the under, undercover I saw the the fourth uh, the fourth episode of Undercover Billionaire last night. Right. I, I, yeah. Well, we we watched it over here because I haven't seen any of this stuff, so um, I don't know how TV cuts stuff. And I can tell you that some of what you view or see is not you know, it's a lot harder than than people. I, I was there twenty one hundred hours, and all you see is maybe three hundred minutes of the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, you you looked like you were having it rough yesterday. So just uh, just yeah. so it was uh, the day you were uh, ch ch sort of checking yourself, sort of uh, for the uh, for the old COVID. So. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, well, you know, when we went back, I went there in late February. Uh, got dropped off in Pueblo, Colorado. For those of your uh, viewers or that, that don't know, I got dropped off there. We were there two weeks. I started getting a little bit of traction, like so many of us start a business. I had no money, no credit cards, couldn't use my name, couldn't use social media, couldn't use the app right here. Like I couldn't, I couldn't go get help from anyone, and um, get dropped off in Pueblo. I've never been there before. Two weeks into it, we get shut down because of COVID, and then two and a half months later, I get called back. Hey, you want to do it again? I'm like, not really. You know, when you get punched <laughs> in the face the first time and you don't know what it feels like. Okay, but when you know you got to go back and get punched in the face again, it's like, oh my God, I don't want to do this, you know. So it was extremely difficult, hardest thing I've ever done in my life, and I did it, Glenn. It's you and you and I have had some conversations behind the scenes. I did it really to prove to people, you don't need money. I mean, really, you can literally, you don't need money to to become successful, and you don't really need a name. You do need a vehicle, though. You need a vehicle. You need something. And that's why I'm so excited about doing this with you is because to me, EXP is such a great vehicle, you know, easy to get into. Everybody needs it. I mean, it fits everything. It's scalable and there's two or three or four ways for me to, to benefit and have other people do the same. Yeah, no, well, thank, thanks for, thanks for that. And, um, you know, obviously uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about your growth conference that's coming up in March. And uh, it's such an honor uh, to be uh, asked by you uh, personally to come and talk about, uh, you know, the successes and the struggles and the things that, that I've, I've done over the years. But really, it's about, uh, you know, helping uh, agents understand there's other opportunities out there than maybe just their stale old legacy real estate brokerage. Yeah, look, you're 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 the perfect person for our conference because 10x is about scaling. It's about going 10 times wider, deeper than you think you might need to. It's about really accomplishing the dreams and the lifestyle you want, not just for yourself, but for as many as 10 other, or multiply that times 10 again and 100 others. And then next thing you know, you're changing your communities and your charities. And and you're literally making a difference on the planet. Way, way more than just the way I was brought up to where families first, which I, look, I get it. Family's very, very important to me, but everyone in your network, everyone listening right now, you, you have the potential. I truly believe this. Glenn and I, Glenn more than me, are examples uh, uh, that I'll, anybody can make it. Like, like I'm not the smartest guy in the room, um, but when you work smart and you have the right vehicle to work on, that's what our 10X thing is, bringing people from all over the world that come into a room, spend three days with us listening and learning from people that have all scaled, both in entertainment, business, corporate industries, um, a startup, new ideas, very disruptive thinkers uh, that make everything very, very simple so that everyone that comes to the conference can literally leave with a plan on how they can scale to 10 times more than they ever even dreamed may be possible. Yeah, and I did share the link uh, as I posted this video up and this this conference is basically, for all intents and purposes, free and then some for anybody who wants to sign up. Like, and I know a lot of people don't, you know, probably not our, our agents, but a lot of people don't have a lot of money. And so you've made this super, super accessible 
super approachable where people literally, if they see this, they'd be crazy not to sign up if they have any ambition whatsoever. Look, I spend $5 million on these events. You know, these conferences can be very, very expensive. Uh, you know, I am very much an in-person. Uh, I love big events. I've done, I did Miami, Miami Marlins Stadium, 34,000 people on Super Bowl weekend, by the way. One of the proud moments of my life is to take on something. Everybody told me not to do this. I said, why would you do this on Super Bowl weekend? And, and it was really because I want to prove that the Super Bowl is not the only thing going on that weekend. And just because it dominates a lot of people's ideas, um, we, in 2017, we booked uh, Miami Marlins Stadium, 34,300 people showed up. And it was just like, it, it was a mind blow for a lot of people to, to start tearing off these limitations. Oh, I can't do it because it's Super Bowl weekend. We filled the place up. Every ticket's paid for. Like this conference we're doing on March 12th, there'll only be 2,000 people at the event because of the COVID and what's going on. Um, so one, a lot of people can't travel right now. They can't leave their country. We wanted to be able to make this available to people. When you shrink down to a 2000 person event and we spend the same amount of money as we spent when there was 34,000, the tickets are extremely expensive. In person are 20,000, 10,000. 10, people are gonna mm -hmm. be paying 20 grand to listen to you. Right. Okay, <laughs> and and, and there, I think they're twenty grand, ten thousand, and maybe there's a twenty, a handful of twenty five hundred dollars seats left. So, so we wanted to open this up. It's a profitable uh, event. We wanted to open this up to people virtually free. It's ninety seven bucks to register, and then I give you a ninety seven dollar credit at the store, and we kick it off with five days of training right before the event to prepare you for how to learn and how to network during those three days. Well, and, well, and I'm going to tell you, the speaker list, I don't know if you've seen the speaker list, but it's freaking, like, it's 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 insane. But the person that I'm most excited about spending time with, I'm with today. <laughs> well, Grant, you're, no, you're awesome. Um, and, of course, you and I got some plans. We got, we're got we working on a little, little behind-the-scenes kind of uh, uh, a little term sheet of potentially doing some things together uh, for the benefit of EXP, by the way. So just a little teaser for everybody at EXP. You and I are going to do some stuff together. Yeah, you guys are going to be hearing me talk. You're, you're going to see me on stage at the 10X Growth Conference disseminating EXP in a way that maybe you're going to be like, man, I need to be talk, I need to talk this thing up more. Right. So uh, one thing I know how to do is promote. And if you guys stay close to me, I will show you how to promote using social media, Facebook, Instagram. I'm 63 years old. I should not, I should not be winning at social media the way I am. I'm probably the oldest influencer in the world. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I don't want that to be my claim to fame, but, but you know, I didn't, I didn't grow up with this device just like you didn't, Glenn. And my kids are growing up. They understand how to do all this stuff. I, I didn't. I had to learn the game. I've only been doing social for maybe eight years, nine years. Uh, I'm probably a similar age to many of your agents. I don't know yep. if that's true. What's your demographic? Well, uh, skews a little bit younger than the traditional agent, but the average real estate agent in the industry is 54 years old. So, which is exactly the age I am today, by the way. So, so I am the typical happy, realtor. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> well, actually, my birthday was October, but I am 54. So, <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, so the point I'm making to everybody is, real estate is a very uh, traditional business. And it has resisted disruption and technology for a long time. Um, I'm, I do a lot of commercial real estate, as you know. We we bought uh, almost three billion dollars worth of real estate. It's mostly I'm mostly dealing with white country club, 54 year old people and older, and and they don't they don't embrace social. They don't they they've never made their money with it, and they haven't needed to. But the game's changing right now, and it's changing so fast it's unbelievable. And so when I saw EXP, I'm like, oh, this is a this is a no-brainer right here. So this is a no-brainer because it solves so many problems for real estate agents that have been undercompensated, yet the consumer basically wants to pull you down, you know, doesn't want to pay your six points. But th th this actually will solve that problem because that problem is not going away on the commission end because of competition. And number two, um, it starts giving the real estate agent upside in playing the game at other levels and getting equity and upside in other people's production. So um, all the guys, by the way, the the, audio, the people that I'm bringing there, Glenn Stearns is 
Glenn Stearns created a big mortgage business, a second second largest largest mortgage business in the, in the country. That's going to be good for this conversation. Kevin O'Leary's on Shark Tank, massive for this conversation. All of this gives credibility and credence to what EXP is doing. A-Rod will be there. Uh, Mike Rowe, who's known for his work ethic. Pitbull. Pitbull is not going to be dancing, by the way. He's going to be talking about business, how a guy came from nothing and literally created something and how he continues to do that today. So I got an unbelievable list and this guy named Glenn Stanford, okay, that, that's created this, uh, what, what people are referring to as the Amazon of real estate. I mean, I'm, we might be sitting with the next Jeff. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to have to do a few more acquisitions and uh, maybe start up some other, uh, other verticals, but, uh, it's uh yeah it's a, it's a lot of fun and uh, it's going to be a great honor to be there with you in March get to spend some time with you personally get to you know solidify our relationship even more and uh, super stoked so those of you who are watching this obviously uh, you're with EXP um, you know share your different state based groups share, you know around the world I mean we're in nine plus countries now you know so we we you know if you're in Australia if you're in the UK if you're in India um, if you're in France if you're in Mexico. You know, jump in, grab a ticket, you know, participate because at the end of the day, the energy level that you'll have coming out of this will make you probably $10,000, $20,000, $50,000 more in the next 90 days than you would have been making had you not went and attended and got all of the stuff that's coming out of this conference. So, of course, we, we do so much pouring into you guys all the time, but this is just another way and so inexpensive. I mean, Grant, I can't believe that you, it's 97 bucks, and I truly mean that. I'm not saying this from a marketing perspective, whatever. I mean, 97 bucks to get this type of motivation in real time from people you'll be able to network with and build relationships with, a crazy value. So. So Grant, um, any last words before I? Glenn, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna 10x EXP. I'm telling you. So yeah. I want you guys to think, start thinking about you guys that are in Australia, the UK. 10x is known in every village in the world. There's no place I have ever been to where they're like, oh, you're that 10x guy. And we have spent a lot of time branding that, and it resonates with people that think about, I got to get bigger. I have to get bigger. I got to get 10 times more time. I got to get 10 times more leverage. I need to get 10 times more customers. I need to get 10 times more marketing. So the 10X rule is a worldwide movement. It's way beyond just me. And so when we put this on top of EXP, it's going to explode it. I'm telling you. Uh, for all of you that have been trying to get people involved in EXP, I would tell you to buy tickets for them to come. If this is a gift, okay, if, if you want to give people, uh, get leveraged people to really create something bigger with maybe a prospect that you have in mind. Somebody's somebody's going to tell them about EXP. This might be the way for you to say, hey, I want you to join me at the conference. This is a gift. You know, I paid for it, bought it. Um, I'd love for you to join me at it, uh, at the conference, because the right kind of people the right kind of people, the right kind of people on your team are always learners. This is what I know to be true. They, they, they believe things will help them. They are not, they're no longer skeptics. They want self-improvement. They reach for it. The people that don't want it, ah, that doesn't work, that's a scam. Those people can never build your team. I've never had a skeptic help build my team. That, that, that might be good for the legal department, but they're not good for the growth department. So uh, if people accept this gift, you know, uh, that you give them to be part of this three-day event. They're going to be hearing about EXP the entire time, and they're going to be seeing other people, whether those people know it or not, associated with EXP. Uh, names like, I'll just tell you guys, like, uh, for those, there's going to be some super celebrities that show up. Last year, we had Floyd Mayweather popped in a room. Dana White popped in a room. Uh, these people are all walks of life. John Travolta showed up uh, unannounced. So those kind of things give tremendous credibility to a movement. You, Glenn's already created the vehicle. He's got tremendous uh, lift right now for what's going on. You guys can see it in the news every day. And then we're just going to throw that. We're going to throw that last little bit of nitro on it to to to, to kick the, kick the fire up into over over mode low zone. Well, awesome. Well, I, uh, again, super stoked, super excited. Uh, Grant, thanks for taking uh, time out today. Uh, looking forward to seeing you here in just a few weeks. It's not too many weeks away. And uh, I know uh, in the background, we'll be uh, chatting on some other stuff. So with that, you, uh, 
going to sign off. I'm going to end the live stream here.